Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, the 7th of August, 2018. Wasn't much of an exciting day on Monday. We drifted up, but there's just no action. It's definitely summertime. It feels like summer. You know, as they say, when there's no volume in the markets and there's no real traders out there, the market tends to drift higher. August is typically one of the more positive months of the year. You can get a lot of days like this. Let's go through the major indices, and then we'll take a look at the uh, intraday action. We'll look at what's coming out for Tuesday but we may have a, a slow week ahead of us. There's not a lot of data coming, so we'll see what happens. Here's the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. And, uh, you know, getting back in your highs again is what it is. Again, August is a drift up month on average. Crude oil down seven cents to 68.94. Gold down 20 cents to 12.17.50, very near the lows. S&P cash gains 10.0105 points. Uh, NASDAQ 100 was up 43.50, still more with the high. Stocks up 7.58. Biotech's interestingly down a buck 78 in this. The VIX closes down 37 cents at 11.27. I think that's the lowest close since back in February, January even. Trin at 1.17, the 10 day moving average at 0.94. Um, we need some lower numbers to bring that moving average down. Uh, NASDAQ volume 2.2 billion shares. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ plus 709, so more stocks up than down on the New York plus 574. Google loses 49 cents. Apple up $1.08. New highs on Apple. Netflix up 783. Nowhere near new highs, obviously. Amazon gains 24.46. It is near new highs. Tesla down 6.18. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF. Gains just seven cents after a gap up. We got Facebook up 791, breaking back into that gap, which was interesting. So starting to recover from the earnings day, and then uh, Goldman Sachs up a buck 84, which is nowhere in general. Uh, we look at the five-minute charts. Sorry, I don't have a five-minute chart. We look at the five-minute charts of um, the ES here. So the first 40 minutes was horrible. Then we started to drift up, heading into lunch. Even though look how small, even the drift up candles that were so tiny. Right, and then from that point, lunchtime hits, and we closed right there. So the next three and a half hours were just dead flat and a waste of time. Nasdaq, same thing, really nothing here on the Nasdaq. In terms of economic data on Tuesday, Jolt's job openings, thirty minutes in, uh, the tip, IBD, economic optimism number at some point, consumer credit at three p.m. That is all. Uh, we've got bigger numbers later in the week, but not much to talk about. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We'll help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Tuesday.